wanted to make a quick video about arrays uh, and some notes about what's important to know for arrays when working with them in Java. So an array is a uniform structure of elements that can hold uh, many values. It's kind of like a dorm for your data. So here I've got an array with four elements. Its indices are 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we could have values like uh, 10, 20, 30, and 40 in it if this were an integer array. So let's talk about how you would construct this in Java. So in Java, the syntax for uh, an array's type is just the type name followed by uh, square brackets and your variable name if we're declaring it. I'm going to name this integer array A and I'm going to initialize it to a new array of si a new integer array of size uh, 5. All right. And so this will construct an array with 5 elements in it. And uh, if I wanted to think about how this might be represented in memory, I would draw an array with five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. And label these indices, zero, one, two, three, four. And this is our new array. We can assign values to elements in an array. And an element, remember, is just one of these cubbies uh, where a value can be stored. So array index zero, we will assign a value of 10 to it. And after this line of code runs, we would have 10 stored in element 0. We could do element 1, a value of 20. And this will assign 20 to element 1. Same thing with 2. And we'll do 30 in element 2. Uh, one of the key things to note about the value that's between these square brackets is that this is an integer expression. So we can do some math in here. So we could do something like 2 plus 1 to assign uh, the value of 40 to the index 3. All right. So we can put 40 in there. And then another example of this, because this is an expression, is we can use uh, values that are stored in variables. For example, we can use the length of this array. So array.length, which is 5 minus 1 to access the last element in the array, 4, because we're indexed from 0. And uh, we'll say its value is 50. All right. So what we've done here is we've created a new array with five elements. And we've used the array assignment syntax to set up the values within that array. And if we wanted to later go on and print these values, we could use a for loop to do that, to loop through each of these elements' indices. And we can do that because this is an uh, integer expression within these, within the square brackets. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Imagine that our array is constructed as we see uh, in our memory uh, representation on the right. And what we can do is we can write a for loop to iterate through each of these uh, values. So I've got four, and uh, we'll set up a counter variable. I'll name it i and initialize its value to 0. And we're going to loop through each of these items. So we were going, we're going to loop while i is less than 5, which is the length, the, which is the number of elements in this array, or a.length. And this is a conventional way of uh, looping through every element in an array. And we are just going to count one by one through each element. All right, So we're going to increment after every execution of the loop's body by 1. So we'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to write print and a sub i. So this is an array access operation where we are accessing the array a index i. And remember, as we loop through this, our loop will count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's how it will work. All right. So let's step through this. If we think about the first step of our for loop, we uh, initialize a variable i. So i is a new variable, its value is 0. And we come over to the second step in the array, which is asking, uh, is the Boolean expression here that bounds our loop true? Is 0 less than 5, which is array's length? That's true. So we'll go on to the third step, which is uh, printing uh, the value of a sub i. We step into the body, and the value of a sub i is a sub 0, so uh, a index 0 is 10. So for the program's output, we will have
have 10 as the first line. We will continue on to the increment step, the counter action, which is I++. Plus plus. And I'm just going to underline that in red. Uh, so we'll increment I by 1. I's new value is 1. We'll come back and we'll ask, is I less than length? Is I less than 5? 1 less than 5? True. We'll print A sub 1. That's 20. We'll increment I again. I's new value is 2. We'll ask, is 2 less than 5? True. We will print uh, A index 2. That's 30. We'll increment I again. So I is now 3. 3 less than 5. True. Print A sub 3. 40. And we come back around one more time. We increment I to be 4. Is 4 less than 5? That's true. We print uh, A sub 4. That's 50. And then on the very last uh, step in our moving through this array, we'll increment i one more time. So i's new value will be 5. We will ask, is i still less than 5? And that is no longer true because 5 is not less than 5. And we will continue on with our code down here. Uh, and so that's how we would use a for loop to iterate through an array. And this is how we've constructed an array. Uh, and remember, we used the assignment operation to assign values to an array. And anywhere you see these square brackets, you know that you're dealing with an array. And then we looked at how can we use a for loop to iterate through each of the elements in that array one by one.